Good morning, everyone. Dr. Vicki here, speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little hummingbird that just zipped through this the uh, picture here. That's why I'm standing inside, because he was zipping actually closer to me before I started this, and I didn't want to startle him, or her, actually. I think it's a girl. <clears throat> of course, hummingbirds uh, remind us uh, about the joy of the moment and uh, we are still sort of basking in the joy of the moment are we not today uh, we have uh, we had an early morning trine between Venus and Uranus that opens us up to new exciting out-of-the-box change progressivism in our relationships uh, in perhaps our aesthetics it uh, supports uh, group endeavor it supports getting along uh, despite cha despite differences. Um, it's as if we're suddenly open in a way that we haven't been open before. This is part of the Venus story this uh, week. The first aspect of Venus, exact aspect of Venus being this trine to Uranus. This trine is has the overlay energy of Leo. And so self-expression uh, is part of the picture today. Joyful self-expression, uh, an openness to the new, an openness to the inventive. Um, I was actually, just before I got out here to do this, I was listening to uh, some of the speeches that I missed in, uh, in the DNC. I, was working all week and uh, had classes and 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 clients, so I had to catch up. I had to catch up. Um, I have yet to hear Poot, uh, Pete Buttigieg. I have to listen to him and um, Adam Kinzinger. I'm I'm interested in that, um, but of course um, we're still sort of in the afterglow of that. And you know what? Let's be in the afterglow of that. Let's, let's, we can access that energy. We can bring that energy forth. Right now, it's easy enough. There'll be times when it's a little more difficult, when we seem, again, after, you know, having things put in front of us, but we can access it. We can access the joy. It's in our own hearts. So um, if you haven't been able to feel it, for reasons known or unknown, <laughs> you can go back to this place and access it. It's within you. This really is an opportunity and a rising up of the energy of the feminine, the energy of compassion, the energy of, of being in a body and loving being in your body and enjoying being in your body, not to the detriment of your mind, or the exclusion of your spirit, right? The masculine elements, but in a balance, in a balance. Too much mind leads to cruelty. Too much spirit leads to insufferability. Too much body leads to sloth and decadence, and too much emotion leads to depression and inability to move forward because you're mired in your feelings. It's the balance of all four elements. It is what the magician, in the, in the magician card, with, with his altar in front of him, with, with the four elements and the balance of that, and rising above all of that is the divine mind. Our connection to our divine heart and our divine mind will lead us into a future that we dream possible. First, you got to dream it. Then you got to roll up your sleeves and do it. Now, we're in the last quarter of the moon. This is the time of extracting meaning from our experiences. This is the time of coming together with others to create sort of a group expression of the lessons learned through this lunation cycle, starting with that new moon in Leo, the sign that rules the heart, the core of love, the, that which makes us human. And now 
come next week, after this week, we have the new moon. I think it's on Monday. It might be before that. I think it's the second. The new moon is on the second in Virgo. Virgo is about doing the work, getting the details down, and rolling up the sleeves. So enjoy your, your moments of bliss, my friends. And uh, let's focus on what we can bring. Let's visualize together the world we want to see. And we'll work towards that. Have yourself a wonderful day, guys. Much love. For those of you interested in my introduction to the Kapalic Glass, I'm sorry I'm, I'm announcing this every day, but I, I don't want, there are people who have been waiting for this and I don't want them to miss it. There is a link below for that. It's starting on the 19th of September and it's a six week course. <clears throat> all classes are recorded, so if you can't make all six weeks uh, on consecutive Thursday evenings, seven to nine, you will still get the class. Have yourself a great day, everyone. Namaste.